Today we're going to be doing a lesson on how to play the intro to Laid to Rest by Lamb of God. It's something I had quite a lot of trouble getting under my hands when I was first trying to learn the song. But I'm going to break the intro into two parts. I'm going to cover the hands and the feet separately of each part, slow it down, and hopefully you'll have a good idea of how to play it by the end of it. So let's jump straight into it. So first off, I'll just play the entire intro all the way through, and then we'll start breaking it down. So that was the whole intro at 139 beats per minute. We're now going to work on splitting the intro into two separate parts. So this is the first part of the groove. We're going to split it into two, cover the first one now and then the second one later when we've got this one down. So this first half of the groove is the easier half and just to get it under our hands we're going to do the right hand and the feet together and then the right hand and the left hand together at 90 beats per minute and then combine the two and speed it up to 139 beats per minute which is the performance tempo. Now the actual groove in the song is played between the china and the splash cymbal. I mean if you don't have either of them you can play it between the crash and the ride cymbal, it, it doesn't really matter, but for the purposes of the exercise to practice it, we're just going to stick to the ride cymbal to keep it simple, and then when you've got it down, you can start rotating between cymbals. So this is the right hand and the feet, and then we're going to move on to the right and the left hand, and then combine the two and speed it up to performance tempo. for the first section of the groove is just right left right left right left right left uh, gonna count the whole thing in triplets so just with the feet that would sound like one and a two three and a four one and a two three and a four so when you got that down we're gonna work on the right and the left hand together and then combine the hands and the feet and get it up to speed so then really slowly in increments of about five beats per minute build up the hands and the feet together And then eventually, once you're comfortable with that, you can start adding in the two symbols where you rotate between the two. In the song itself, he starts on the china and then goes to the splash and just goes from one to the other consistently. There's no pattern change in that.
So with part one done, we're going to move on to part two. Uh, part two is a lot harder, but if you slow it down enough and you break it down, it's absolutely fine. So this is part two in full. The foot pattern for part two just like the first part is just right left it's right left right left right left right left right left uh, which will make a bit more sense when we've covered the groove in full so just like the first one we're gonna slow it down and take just the right hand and the feet we're gonna keep it on the right just like the first time then we're gonna bring in the right and the left hand and then combine the two and speed it up That's not exactly rocket science, just with the hands, but then when you add in the feet it gets a lot harder. There's a burst of four quick notes, and then you finish off with just straight triplets at the end. So if you practice it slowly it should be absolutely fine. So briefly, just before I speed that up, the snare fits in really nicely at the end of the burst of four. And I'll show you that now, slowed down at 90 beats per minute. A really, really, really slow breakdown of this part would sound something like this. So just to summarise the second part of the groove there, it's a burst of four on the bass drum, followed by continuous triplets until you get back to part one of the groove. So just like before, going to combine the hands on the feet and then speed it up. So there you have it, I'm just going to play the finished version again, in case you didn't catch it the first time. And the last thing to note actually is that after you've played the groove for the first time, every time after that you add a snare onto the first beat of the next bar. So that'll sound something like this when it's all finished. lesson finished I hope it was helpful for someone out there and I'm thinking of doing more lessons too maybe Redneck by Lamb of God or an architect song or something like that if you have any uh, any suggestions just put them in the comments below and also if you have any feedback about this lesson what was good what was missing from the lesson again send me a message or put it in the comments below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time